I have come to a desert where love appears. Everything impure there has found total purity. What could coral be worth beside the price of the soul? See how a sun appears to an atom. There are thousands of locks, each vast as heaven, a few letters in the shape of a key, open them all. My heart is like a vast tablet of light, an ocean of agony drowned it again and again, but it became a warrior after being martyred a hundred times. I venerate each one of the waves of this ocean. I'm at once the feast and the disemboweled victim. I'm the slave of a fish that comes from the sea. Each drop of this sea clothes a form that appears. Each form carries the name of a saint or mystic. O oh my soul, enter and purify yourself in this boundless ocean where one drop engenders a thousand graces and visions. The swells and storms of destiny imperil every ship but in this sea of peace, all find safety at last. Satisfied with your lovers. May the death of lovers be holy. May your beauty be a feast for them. May their souls burn like incense in your fire. O oh, beloved, you have spilled my blood with your own hand. May that same hand also bloody my soul. May anyone who says, save him from love, have his prayer chased from heaven. On the path of love, the moon dwindles and disappears. May this dwindling from love become a fullness. Others demand a respite from death. But lovers cry out, No, let it come fast. Heaven is made of the smoke of hearts that burn away. Praises, praises to all those who are burnt away.
cupbearer, pour the wine, let it flow and keep flowing. I am sick of swinging between hope and fear, shatter thought, I want nothing to do with it, tear from my heart all unstable imaginings, Hack from their chains the shameless joys of passion. Dance into our assembly, beloved. Unveil your face. Scatter graces with each swirl of your robe of flame. Look at these madmen dancing out of themselves for you. See how they've stripped themselves of the rags of time. Even to detachment the heart can be attached, God knows, for the heart is a net spread for misery. Transform my heart to a placeless place of safety. Carry it into the mountains where it dies. My body's tired of this country. Make it drunk, set it free, call to it, come quickly. Offer me a cup, overflowing with the wine of wonder, so I can no longer tell my head from my feet. Don't give me bread or water or peace or sleep. Thirst for you is blood money for a hundred souls like mine. Today, my beloved, you have swept me to your table. Let me stammer and stagger at the glory of your feast. News has raced through the city. Today, today is the day of joy. You are an ass if you want anything but God. A sad and crazy ass trying to get fat on ash. Know that the grass of ash Dirt is the mouth that eats it. And remember always what the prophet said. Stay away from the green of filthy places. Beloved, I am far from the grass of the ash pits. I am far from the houris of the gardens. I am far from pride. Far from vanity. I am drunk on the wine the Divine Majesty. The thought of a final beauty leaps like a deer in my heart, like the moon racing up the sky, like a lily lifting its head suddenly from the river grass. See, all the world's images are running to your image, scraps of iron drawn by a magnet of light. Diamond becomes stone before you, lions, small flowers. The sun before you shrinks tinier than any atom. In you this whole world blazes now, like Mount Sinai. Each of its atoms foams over with fire water. Each soul becomes Moses lost in the vision of God. Each creature is soldered to you and its own origin, laughing at nothingness and clapping its own miracle. Each leaf opens fresh and bright. Each atom is singing its discovery. Acceptance is the key to happiness. Grace is the door to the peace beyond the mind. Define and narrow me, you starve yourself of yourself. Nail me down in a box of cold words. That box is your coffin. 
I do not know who I am. I am in astounded, lucid confusion. I am not a Christian. I am not a Jew. I am not a Zoroastrian. And I am not even a Muslim. I do not belong to the land or to any known or unknown sea. Nature cannot own or claim me, nor can heaven, nor can India, China, Bulgaria. My birthplace is placelessness, my sign to have and give no sign. You say you see my mouth, ears, eyes, nose. They are not mine. I am the life of life. I am that cat, this stone, no one. I have thrown duality away like an old dish rag. I see and know all times and worlds as one, one, always one. So what do I have to do to get you to admit who is speaking? Admit it and change everything. This is your own voice echoing of the walls of God. This entire world is the form of universal reason, which is the father-mother of all lovers of the divine word. Be ungrateful towards the beloved and nothing can change. Make your peace with your beloved Abandon disobedience and this world's water and clay will appear like a gold carpet and resurrection become your immediate experience and heaven and earth be transfigured in your eyes. Since I'm always at peace with my father, the world always appears like a paradise to me. At each moment, a new form and new beauty appear, and their glory dissolves all fear and boredom. I see the world radiant and brimming with magnificence, the waters constantly flowing from the springs of heaven. The sound of these waters is always enchanting my ears, my deepest mind and consciousness real with bliss. The branches of the trees dance for me like penitents. I see leaves everywhere clapping their hands like musicians. The mirror's shining seeps through its velvet sheath. Imagine the blaze when the mirror itself appears. The second you stepped into this world of existence, a ladder was placed before you to help you escape it. First, you were mineral. Then, 
you transformed into a plant. Then you became an animal. Then you changed yet again and became a human being endowed with divine consciousness, reason, faith. Look at your body made from dust. What perfection it has. And when you have gone beyond being human, you will without any doubt become an angel. You will be done with earth and heaven will be your home. Go beyond even that angelic condition. Dive again into God's boundless ocean so your drop of water at last transforms into the sea.